Mombet was reported to have been a midwife and herbalist. Many African American women were highly valued for their knowledge in both fields. From a cultural standpoint, these women also more than likely had held the title of Hoodoo or Voodoo Priestess. During her period of enslavement to them, she married and had a child, Betsy. In 1780, Miss Ashley struck at Bessie with a heated shovel, but Bet shielded her daughter, receiving a deep wound on her arm in the process. Bet left his wound uncovered as it healed, as evidence of her harsh treatment. Furious, she left the house and refused to return. When Canolio Ashley appealed to the law for her return, she called on Theodore Sedwick, a lawyer from Stockbridge who had anti-slavery settlement, and asked for his help to sue for her freedom. Freedom suits were lawsuits in the 13 colonies and the United States filed by enslaved people against slaveholders to assert claims to freedom, often based on descent from a free maternal ancestor or time held as a resident in a free state or territory. The right to petition for freedom descended from English common law and allowed people to challenge their enslavement or indentured. Mom Bet listened carefully while the wealthy men she served talked about the Bill of Rights and the new state constitution and decided that if all people were born free and equal, then that law must apply to her too. Sedwick agreed to take the case, which was joined by another Ashley slave, a man called Braun. Brahmin Bet versus Ashley was argued before a county court. The jury ruled in the favor of Bet and Brown, making them the first enslaved African Americans to be free under the Massachusetts Constitution of 1780, and ordered Ashley to pay them 30 shillings in costs. This municipal case set a precedent that was affirmed by the state courts in the Quakey Walker case and ultimately led to the abolishment of slavery in Massachusetts.